Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today, and today I am answering one of your sewing questions. I've gotten this question several times, and it is how do you figure out yardage if the pattern doesn't tell you how many yards to buy? So, I'm going to show you today how easy it is to figure out yardage on your own. In order to do this, what you're going to need is the pattern that you're trying to buy yardage for, you're going to need a measuring tape, and you're going to need a big surface. Now I'm sitting on the floor, but you can do this on a tabletop. You could do this on an island in your kitchen. You just need a surface that is cleared of other things so that you can measure. So fabric comes in two main widths. This bolt here is quilting cotton and quilting cotton in general comes in a 44 inch width. That means that when it's folded in half, it's 22 inches wide. So this fabric width that we're looking at is 22 inches. Now apparel fabric generally comes in 58 inch wide so that when you fold it in half, you're looking at 29 inches. And what that means is that when you lay out your pattern to try to figure out yardage, you need to keep in mind whether you're going to be trying to figure out the yardage for 44 inch fabric or for 58 inch fabric. Now, what I have marked out here on the floor in front of me with painter's tape and washi tape is both widths of fabric. So you can see from where I'm sitting to the red washi tape, that is 22 inch width or the same as quilting cotton. What I have marked out to the blue painter's tape, that is the width of apparel fabric. So it's the 58 inch width and it's 29 inches from this line to this line because generally you cut patterns out double. Now, if you had a pattern where you knew you were gonna to have to unfold it, cut it out single fold, you would obviously need to mark out a larger space than what I've got marked out here. And then I've got this pattern here that is something I'm working on. This is the self-drafted top that I am wearing. And in order to figure out how much yardage I'm going to need for this, I've got my pattern pieces here. And then it's pretty simple. All you have to do is lay out your pattern and then figure out measuring the yardage. So for my pattern here, I would probably fold the two ends of the fabric in towards the center of the fabric. And then that would allow me to cut both the front and the back of my pattern on a fold. And as this is a t-shirt pattern, I would be sewing it out of a knit and it would be 29 inches wide when it was doubled. Even if I moved the fold from one edge and I've like put folds on two edges, it's still gonna be 29 inches. So as you can see, with 29 inches with this particular size of a pattern, I am able to lay all three pieces out in that space on the fabric. And then all I have to do is take my measuring tape and I'm going to measure this to see what the yardage is. So coming down to the bottom hem here, and I'm using the floorboards on my floor to help me line up like where I laid this tape out, but this doesn't even get me to one yard because one yard would be down here. This is 36 inches. So this only is going to take approximately 25 inches. You always want to give yourself about 10% extra in case the fabric shrinks when you pre-wash it. So 26 inches is not an easy fraction to convert into yardage, but 27 inches is. 27 inches is going to be three quarters of a yard. And on this graphic that I've got here, I'm showing you some of the yardage conversions to fractions so that you know how many inches would convert down to those fractions. And in the post I've linked below, I've also got that chart so that it can be saved and it can help you figure that out. But really that's all there is to it is that you have to lay your pattern out and then measure. If I happened to find knit fabric that was only 44 inches wide instead of the usual 58 inches wide, I could lay this out again and calculate my measurements again. So let's pretend that I'm still doing two folds towards the center and you can see that my front and back pieces still fit side by side, but my sleeve piece no longer fits in the middle. <clears throat> so I would have to move it down here 
And now, instead of being able to buy 27 inches, I'm going to have to come down and buy something more like 30 inches to accommodate all of this. So in that case, I would probably just go ahead and buy a yard. I'd have a few inches extra and I can make myself some headbands later. So that is how you figure out yardage. It's really a simple process once you lay it out. I hope you found that helpful. And if you would like to check out more sewing questions answered and sewing tips, check out this playlist. There is a lot more useful information there.